All right, folks, how's it going? I have something pretty cool that I'm pretty excited about. It is some filament. I'm gonna This video is going to consist of me unboxing this filament, and then we're going to do some prints. Um, these are metallic um, filaments. That should be um, a silver, gold, and copper. The pictures look pretty good. I'll let you guys know this isn't just an unboxing. I will be printing as well, so stick around for that. This was 40 bucks off of Amazon from um, Mika 3D. Okay, copper, gold, and silver. It has a similar sheen to, um, I don't know if you guys remember the video when I did the sample from uh, MakerBox, the sample prints. It has a similar sheen to that, that filament. Oh, they gave me a free scrape tool, look at that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and print the gold on my CR10, and I'm going to print the copper on my, um, mono price i'm gonna print them the same size and do the silver on the mono price as well so yeah let's go ahead and do that let's go and um cue the the time lapse and then check it out when it's done
All right, folks, the time lapse is over and we are back. Check out these prints, man. It's gonna be really freaking good. So I ended up just print out um, bullet casings. So I thought they looked cool. That'd be a cool print. Um, of course, cut out the bullet portion. Well, was it just, just the bullet <laughs> with copper. And I printed out the shells with um, silver and gold. And this actually screws on. I only printed out one bullet though. And I'm gonna be printing out another one later. But just really wanted to finish shooting this video because I'm just excited. Um, that's how it looks with that. Check that out. Now, you, as you can look a little close, you can see there are some issues on the CR10. Um, like right here. Here you see like some of it right there. It was way worse than this. Actually, Brent tur the print turned out really brittle for the first time. I was I was thinking it has something to do with my um with my printer, but it was just a setting. So like, see how brittle these are. I first printed this on uh, on the CR10 at 200 degrees and came out like this, really brittle and falling apart. Um. And then I printed it again and I cranked it up to 220 and that fixed it. It's not brittle anymore. Nice tough print, but I'm still having some inconsistency right consistencies right here. And I just believe that's what the filament is. Um, it is a cheaper filament. All three of these only cost 40 bucks. So if I play with the temperatures a little bit more, I get a better print because I got I have some similar issues right here on the copper part. And this was printed on the mono price Delta at 200 and 210 degrees on the mono price and this was printed on the mono price as well so it came out a little bit on the mono price but there's still some imperfections here I'm just gonna play with the temperatures a little more and try to get that uh, fixed but this is how it looks screwed on there check that out looks pretty cool right so overall the bullet portion took two and a half hours the shell on the mono took um five hours and 20 minutes and on the CR10 oops <laughs> reversing it CR10 this one took six hours and a few minutes besides that and I put this on both like the normal like basic setting with um, I believe it was 0.6 um, a higher setting would have took like double the, almost double the time so I went with the lower setting, but it's they're pretty cool little bullet containers. I'll put the file in the description below. Um, I got the file from I picked up the file from Thingiverse. Like I said, it didn't take a ton of uh, tweaking to to get it going. I mean, the first print for this went bad because of the temperature, but I'm gonna play with the temperatures a little bit more and do a few more prints with this um this silk filament, nice metallic sheen. Like I was saying earlier, it really reminds me of the filament that I got from that I picked up from the Maker Box with the Kirby's here. So you see that it has like that similar little silk sheen to it. But I didn't have um like all the little weird architecture problems with this filament. It just printed out just fine on the uh, mono price. So say so yeah, I believe it's just because this is just a it's a cheaper filament, but I still think it's worth it. It's worth the 40 bucks. Just do a little bit of a few more adjustments and I'll get perfect prints from there. But this stuff came out awesome. I already have some ideas in my head right now as to what I want to print next. And just check out my next videos for that. Guys, if you like videos like this and me testing out filaments, showing you guys prints, all that good stuff, put it in the comments below. Please always like and subscribe. And if you like my videos enough, go ahead and share it with a friend. That helps a lot. I really want to grow the channel, and I also really want to give you guys good content. I don't want to just throw out a bunch of garbage. So let me know if you guys like this enough, uh, like this or not. And um, as always, have a great day.